Hey art students, just wanted to do a quick review of what we learned yesterday and show you the answers to some of the questions we had. So for this first one, just watch this video of a puffer fish making a radial symmetry design, uh, which is pretty cool. They actually do this in nature. Uh, and then you answered two questions. Uh, many of you said you noticed that the design was a perfect circle. Um, a lot of you said you noticed that the puffer fish was cute. <laughs> I agree. Um, and then for question two, almost a hundred percent. I think maybe one person said no, but um, most of you said that you did think it's art, and the reason was it used lines and shapes. And a lot of you noticed that this was abstract art, which I was really proud of you there because you're absolutely right. It is abstract, and even if it's made by an animal. I think I agree. I think it is actually art. But it was a matter of opinion. So if you said no, that's okay too. Okay, then you read about balance using symmetry. That means something is the same on two sides. So if there's a line down the middle, then either side is the same. Asymmetry means it's different on both sides. But it can still have balance if one side, like this giant tree, is balanced out by something else on the other side. So the visual weight that I'm talking about is one big tree equals four little trees or something, anything like that. So it still looks at, you know, a line down the middle, and if it's different on both sides, it could still be balanced. Now we're into radial symmetry. So this means that ele elements repeat themselves around a central axis. A lot of the time radial symmetry designs will be round, but not always. Like this Islamic tile design is actually square, but it's still considered radial symmetry. You'll notice that even if you turn the artwork, I'll, let's say I'll just spin this one, Let's say you just turn it 90 degrees, Oops, it's still the same. It looks exactly like it did before I turned it. That's one way you know it's radial symmetry. Radial just means round. Alright, then you watched a little video about mandalas. They are an art form that uses radial symmetry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you all noticed a lot of things about this video that some mandalas are used for meditation, some of them are used for healing. Um, you notice that these sand mandalas were made of ground up gems and sand. Um, and when they're done with all that hard work, the monks actually wipe it up. They put the sand all together and it goes back to the earth. All right, so then we did some vocabulary matching, and I'd like to show you what the correct answers were. Many of you got these right, but if you didn't, now you can see the right answers. Balance is a principle of art that means equal distribution of visual weight. So I'll drag that one up there. Symmetrical is when an object or artwork is the same on both sides. Then asymmetrical, so if it has that A in front of it, you know that means it's different on both sides. And that leaves radial symmetry, where objects repeat themselves around a central axis. Okay, and same with the picture matching. A lot of you did great on this one. There were some tricky ones, but I'll show you what I was thinking were the best answers for this. Let's start with asymmetrical. I think that might be an easy place to start, meaning different on both sides. So we saw this picture already. I'll drag that one over. And then I had two examples of asymmetry in art. So this one we've seen before maybe. Um, if I divide this down the middle, there's a big wave over here and there's no big wave over here. So it's not the same on both sides. Therefore, it's asymmetrical. Same goes for Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. There's a big building or something, whatever that is over here, 
and then there's nothing on this side. Well, there's lots of things, but lots of little things. Still balanced, but it is not symmetrical. Let's go to symmetrical then, same on both sides. We had this one, we've seen that one before. Oops. And this one here. If I divide a line down, those are exactly the same on both sides. And this one was tricky to some of you, but I said this was symmetrical because again, if I divide it straight down the middle, it's like a mirror reflecting on both sides. So that leaves radial symmetry. We have our mandala, our radial symmetry found in nature, and our Islamic tile. All right, so there we go. Nice job on that. And then you also did some practice in the afternoon. Here are some examples of radial symmetry that you did. I like how different these all turned out. Um, and then over here, a few people actually did an asymmetrical design. So it wasn't quite what we were looking for, but it had asymmetrical balance instead, meaning it's not the same all the way around. It doesn't repeat itself, right? Like these four smiley faces, they're placed very nicely but they don't repeat all the way around the circle. Whereas over here, the smiley faces repeat the same, they're about the same all the way around. That's how we know it's radial symmetry. If you're still not quite sure about radial symmetry versus asymmetry, please let me know. You can always email me, call me, text me if you have questions.